First Descendant is a new free-to-play looter shooter for the PS5, 4, PC and Xbox Series SSX Tricky. It's a looter shooter but definitely more similar to games like Warframe as opposed to Destiny, which is what everyone is seemingly comparing it to. The story is pretty generic as things go. You are a descendant with magical powers, fighting the evil vulgar aliens to obtain a magical space item before things get bad, or considering the state of the worlds, worse. And that's as far as I understood before I just zoned out and skipped everything. I can kind of keep up with what's vaguely going on in the story by in-game dialogue, but I just didn't find the story interesting enough to personally watch all the cutscenes and listen to every character waffle on for hours on end every time you talk to them. What I was more focused on was enjoying the gameplay. The gameplay of The First Ascendant is, as I've said, much more similar to Warframe than Destiny. The game is a third-person shooter with a very satisfying gun combat similar to Warframe. I don't mean to keep comparing the two a lot, but Warframe has a very distinct gun combat feel, and I feel the first Ascendant is incredibly similar. Luckily, that's a good thing. Shooting all the weapons feels great, and using the abilities of each character is also good fun. The only slip up that the game has is its movement. It's just very clunky and stiff feeling, at least on the PS5 where I'm playing it. You have a run, sprint, dodge roll, jump, and a grappling hook. As much as it pains me to say it, because I do hate the constant inclusion in modern gaming, but this game could have actually done with a slide mechanic. It may have made the movement feel much more smooth and fun. As it is right now, you just have to full sprint everywhere and use the very short ranged grappling hook to clunkily speed things up. Characters like Bunny do have a speed boost move, but not every character has this. Some missions require platforming, and this is where the clunky movement does come out in full force. Jumping to precise platforms is very finicky. Luckily though, they are a tiny portion of the game, and falling into the Dark Abyss does not kill you. Movement is okay, it's just the gun combat is so fun, the movement just feels like a massive step down. The game has a hub area, where you can see players running around, and this is where you use all the various stations to craft weapons, tune mods, and so on. From here, you teleport to the various open world areas, and this is where you'll be doing most, if not all, your missions. You'll be running around the open world, starting missions to defend something, or killing enemies to drop something and then blow something up. The thing I do like is that if someone has started the mission you're currently wanting to do, you can just join them. It kind of forces you into jolly cooperation. The open worlds are fine, they serve a purpose I guess of allowing you to jump around quickly, bopping out missions and helping others, but other than missions, there's not a whole lot to discover here. Another type of mission is the Void Intercept missions, boss fights. These are very cool and fun to play. They're almost like Shadow of the Colossus type bosses. When you weaken a certain part of the enemy, you can grapple onto them and start smacking away. I do really enjoy these fights, they look cool, they are massive, and you can give them a hug. And with the later bosses, they can actually get quite challenging, having to note what they are weak against and what they're strong against. When selecting a mission, you can see all the possible rewards and this is where you'll be spending a lot of your time. Rather than the grind being about weapons and armor pieces, it's all about finding resources to use at the research station to create new descendants, weapons, other materials and items. While looking in the research station, you can check where everything is and how to obtain it. Obtaining the items though is more difficult than it seems. While you're looking at the rewards of the mission, it'll give you a percent chance of obtaining what you need, and some are as low as 6% for descendant materials, so the grind is very real. So far I've been able to get one Descendant from this method, and I'm currently grinding for another one. And it's not going well for me. Some of the methods for even having a chance at a material you need is also very long and time consuming. To try and get a certain Descendant material, you need to complete a mission to get a material that allows you to play another type of mission that then could reward you with a little loot box type item that then you can only open in a boss fight that then will still only have a 6% chance of having what you need. You can increase these chances slightly with another item, but that item is also rare as anything. I know this is the point of the game, replaying missions, grinding for items and materials, but man, I may be past my days of willing to play something a hundred times just to get an item. Once you do have the materials you need to start researching an item at the research station, they do take real time to create, unless you pay a little bit of premium currency. Bit of a pain, but similar to Warframe if I remember correctly. Graphically, the game is very nice, worlds are nicely detailed, and the character models are very, very pretty. The sound is also pretty cool, the abilities all sound very good, and hearing gunshots that you're firing and gunshots from a distance also sound really, really good. You can just hear the booty claps of all these characters in the distance.
With the game being free to play, let's look at the store, and it's rammed. We've got Descendants, Ultimate Descendants, Event Skins, Premium Skin, Common Skin, Makeup, Cosmetic Attachments, Support Materials, and Convenience. Tons of stuff. Skins are very cool, very fanservice-y, but very good. The pricing of these items is as awkward as they always bloody make it, being priced between the 8 quid and 16 quid bundle, so you have to buy at least one or two of them. I hate this. Just make it one or the other. I know they're doing it to stinge out money, but stop it. Convenience items are just XP boosters, which I personally never felt the need for, so yeah, you can level up Descendants and weapons perfectly fine. You can obtain the Ultimate Descendants through a very long process of low drop rates, but you can also buy them outright. For a whopping 3k credits. Nearly 60 quid, which is fucking wild. I mean, they are very nice looking, but 60 quid? That's the price of a full quad A experience. Maybe the pretty lady is a better shout then. In my time playing, I've not paid for anything, so you can play the game perfectly fine without spending any money. So overall, the first Ascendant is a very fun, if not mildly clunky feeling, free to play shooter. The shooting part is great and graphically it's wonderful with some great looking characters, but the movement just feels very stiff and in the open world there's not a whole lot to discover outside of missions themselves, which I guess is fine enough. But it is free, so if you like the gameplay and you like what you see, maybe just give it a go, and if not, just delete it and never think about it ever again. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.